this is now labeled. This is now labeled a thing. Um, micro cheating. Micro cheating. So you may never have sex with another person while you're in a relationship, but that doesn't mean that you can't be unfaithful. Mm. Uh, you, <laughs> Trevor. <laughs> Go ahead. Test, Keep going. test. Keep going. You might be simply partaking in a very modern behavior called micro-cheating or engaging in small acts of flirtation, typically over text or social media, that can violate the spirit of a monogamous relation- partnership, if not to the letter of the law. Mm. What are your thoughts on that first bar? Oh, big facts. Okay, cool. So, yeah. So we're good. On with it. Right? Absolutely. So the reason why people think they can get away with micro-cheating is because of our... Fi- uh, our Psychosocial. Psychosocial understanding of cheating is a physical act. So I'm not going to say that I've been, I've never been the initiator of micro cheating. Yep. I've kind of been the Receiver. the person that people have tried to like. Because you be trapping. Micro cheating. What are you talking about? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Continue. What do you mean trapping? Nothing. <laughs> shirt off here. Hey, shirt <laughs> off there. Hey. Pat, pat, pat. I have a few Instagram pictures where my shirt is off. A few? I have a few. Every other? It's not every other. It, listen, if I had if I had a, sh- uh, a shirt off body, I would have shirt off body. I have one that I'm really tempted to post okay, that I'm probably going to post easy. a little bit later. But anyway, with, yeah. With the glizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Trev watched the show, the glizzy. <laughs> There's no glizzies. No glizzies on display. No glizzies on display. Um, but yeah, like I've had women that I've known that were either in like the tough part of their relationship and they try to get their shit up on me, like, you know, oh, he's not doing this. Oh, he's not doing that. Oh, you're such Trevi a Trev to listen to. You're such a good guy. Like, I know you would never do this. Oh, damn. And then in my they head, i let you say that. Exactly, right? <laughs> they, beach, they was talking this they didn't even let me, game to themselves. They didn't even let me you? dirty Mac. Right. They didn't, didn't let me get yeah, my dirty Mac that's off. That's nice for you, though. That is, when, when Shorty can dirty Mac for you, that's <laughs> lit. you way better than my man. <laughs> that's Shorty, I was honestly thinking the same thing, but due to guy code, I couldn't say that out loud. Due to guy so thank code. You. It is like thank I, you for saying that, but I do agree a thousand percent. You're I am shit. biologically predisposed not to dirty Mac. Yeah, yeah. And but you have already just taken that thing, taken it out of my hands. So with that being said, let's get down to business. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> baby boy. Exactly. Right. So no, yeah, don't but cheat. I've, yeah, don't I've been cheat. in those. Uh, no, don't cheat. Don't I, cheat. I was single. So oh, I mean, <laughs> it is what it is. So he's right. like, yeah, I know you would never do this. And in my head, I'm like, yo, this is this is like you're, she was yeah, like, yeah, she's cheating, cheating on me, and yeah. I was like, you're cheating on him right now. Yeah, this is this is a emotional. Cheating, and I just like the way they put it. Like it's, she says, if it violates the spirit of a monogamous relationship, I mean, it's, yeah, and that's just about the level of respect that you have for the relationship that you have with your partner, right? Like I respect my relationship so much that even the spirit of it, my actions, like I'm still gonna carry myself, whether it's physical or emotional, I will still hold myself to the spirit of a monogamous relationship. Yeah, you have to. And that's a, that's a challenge for a relationship, but it will lead you to a happy relationship. Is it a challenge? I don't know, man. Like it shouldn't be a challenge, but it is a challenge in this modern day. So how media, hard is it to easy. be faithful? It's 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 it's, it's very hard. easy to be unfaithful. It's 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 easier for you to fall to right now. You can fall right now. You can fall into this trap right now. It's how? at your it's at your fingertips because you can scroll at what's her name's name and 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 send her a DM right now. And it can be harmless in your eyes because it's Nah, but quick... niggas know when shit is harmless niggas, and when it's niggas not. Niggas know. Niggas know. I know when I've sent a DM with harm. Yeah. I know when I've been oh. very harmful. Not harmless. Right, 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 right. And, uh... Actually. Yeah, because I don't... Change, man. Look at the range, I think man. for... <laughs> no range. Honda Accord, but still. <laughs> Change. I think it's... I don't know. I, I, I just don't think cheating... I don't think not cheating should be that hard. Because if you're cheating, then just don't be with a person... Right. ...that you're with. And, and what I love about this is that it's showing you that cheating is not a big, it doesn't, it's not just the big act of sleeping out on my partner. It, no, it's it, not. It's it way is more. broken down to yeah. something so small as like, yo, my atten- somebody else is getting my attention right now. That's cheating. That's it. That's yeah. how, that is the definition of cheating. And like, until you believe that, you won't act like that, right? Until you really understand that and, and come to terms with that, you won't act like that and you won't hold yourself to that standard. Yeah, micro so cheating. Don't, don't do it. Don't micro cheat. Don't micro cheat. Don't Shout micro to, cheat. Um, don't to cheat. Shout millennials cheat. for making this a thing now, though. Micro, micro cheating. Mi- micro cheating. Micro cheating. Because oh. everybody needs labels. It was just a DM. It was just a like. It was just, right, it was cool. just a comment. Right, let me. Okay. okay, let me. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Number seven, never showing initiative. 
don't feeling. Be nigga, bro. Yeah, don't, don't be, be lazy. Be. Don't be Lawrence in season one. Uh, don't be Lawrence in season one. Funny, we're talking about cheating Lawrence and Issa. Right. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. Full circle. Uh, failing to Can't be. Get away from it. <laughs> failing to be actively engaged in the relationship can feel deeply exhausting to your partner, ultimately leading to an unhappy dynamic. Does your significant other always plan the things you do together? Are they the only one who always initiates sex? If you don't make an effort, it may make your partner feel more invested in the relationship than you are. If they have more chips on the table than you do, they may want to cash out. Ooh. You know, it's funny. Not to, not to, why do I keep saying that? I need a new line. But not to do anything. But when I read this, right? Mm-hmm. I looked at Kim and I was like, yo, this is standard shit. But it's so it's something so standard that we overlook it. What, and the initiative thing? Yeah. Like, cause like you would think as as because this is more so this particular point is more so geared to men and, and, yeah. and taking the initiative. So like you would think as a dude, like, no, like I should be taking the initiative, but like some men don't. So it needs to be talked about because it's something so simply overlooked. Like you can never stop dating your chick. And you hear about it like more importantly, after you have kids, don't start, don't stop dating. But like mm-hmm. it starts when you're dating, and in this beginning stage of the relationship, like don't ever stop dating. Still make it an effort to continuous, continuously date. Um, and and like no, like she didn't plan nothing, so we're not doing nothing. No, I planned something today. I like to put it in very simple terms. Like everything you did to get the pussy, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Like don't stop just because you got it. Keep it wet. No, that was wild. Keep it wet. You know what I mean. We're adults here. We're talking about relationships. Keep the... Oh, God. <laughs> that's right what I mean, man. No, but no, Do you're, no, you're right. You doing, man. You're right. Absolutely. Uh, and I think this happens over time, right? Like, in, initially, guys are the guys are like, hey, let's go to this place, let's go to that place. Right, and then right. they get All comfortable. All spots, Ruth, Chris, mama. Exactly. Stay on me, uh-uh. I'm going to cook. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Yeah, there was dumb nights in the kitchen cooking. Yeah. And now then, they don't want to cook no more. All of a sudden, it's don't like, stop. nah, shorty, you know, LeBron's on. Or nah, shorty, yeah. like the yeah. Lakers and Knicks or whatever no. is on. So, you know, definitely keep the showing Knicks. that initiative. Plan. Yeah, cook if the Knicks is on. Nigga. Fuck the Knicks. <laughs> <laughs> right. Fuck the no, Knicks. No, just don't stop dating, man. And, and that goes for women, too, though. Like, don't, don't stop doing the things that made me pull up on you, right? Like, don't stop taking care of yourself. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't stop upkeeping yourself. Don't stop chasing your dreams. Just, like, that's a very, another thing, too, um, in relationships. Like, don't get complacent, right? Like, yeah, let's yeah, continue, yeah, yeah. like, take this momentum and ride. Let's continue going. Absolutely. With this. That's the flow. Because if you, you know? meet somebody and you like them, like, one of the things you probably like is their work ethic and their ambition. And if right. that changes or, like, falters a little bit, it is on the partner to continue to try to encourage you. But if... You know, that encouragement doesn't work and you just want to never take initiative and do anything, then that's going to end. That's going to end things. Um, Be a man with a plan. Take the lead from time to time. You probably did this when you first started dating. Don't stop just because you're in a relationship. And one of the things that I see here is like, uh, are you the only one that that always initiates sex? Like as as a guy, as a girl, like you never want to be the only person that ever initiates sex. Like you want to feel like it's a it's a thing that you both mutually want to do sex a conversation partners should have with each other frequently check-ins yeah um, just what is your partner like huh what is your partner like you just need to have a what does your partner want to try and it's a very um it's a very tough and like tricky uh, line to talk about because it's like sometimes it can be uncomfortable, right? Like maybe like for me, like I was very not insecure about having these discussions, but like just very like defensive about hearing anything, feedback anywhere, like because you think like you're doing the great job, but like it's important to be open and willing to receive and give feedback. Yes. Hey, this is what's working for me. This is what's not. What's working for you? What's not? I'm sorry. My bad. Improve. Apply. Add it. Sex is a conversation that you guys continue to be having. Because it goes back to, you're the only one getting my attention, right? So I want to please you, and I want to be yeah. pleased by you. By you. So yes, we need to have this me. open line of communication, and super important to be honest about what's working and what's not. Indeed. Please me. Touch me. Yeah. Tease me. This is what I like. All that. This is what I don't like. Show me. Need that. Absolutely. Love that. Got to have a good conversation about Maybe. that stuff. I think that's why it's <laughs> it's important that when you're dating somebody, you date somebody who can have those conversations. Yeah. Date 
you know, somebody who's mature enough, grown enough to have those conversations and not take it, you know, the the wrong way. Listen, find somebody you can be yourself around. Yeah. Because when you can be yourself around that person, then you can have the conversation of saying, well, this is how I feel. This is what how today went for me. Or this is the things I like in bed. This is the things I don't like. It's, it's, it's the same flow of conversation because that person gets you. Absolutely. Indeed. Big facts. 